Peace, love, and light family. I hope the sun is shining wherever you are. I hope that you are living in your greatest purpose. Let's get into your messages at this time. Okay, I'm hearing something about something being bright, shining. <laughs> bright, shining today. What message do you have for Scorpios? This message is for Scorpios. Victory is mine. <laughs> this is you. This is you victorious. This is victory coming towards you. Mm. It may have been a situation that was like this. Hmm. You had a lot of ex experiences, Scorpios. The divine is saying you had a lot of experiences in love where your cup was not being filled everything that you put in was coming out there was no way for it to be filled okay this is beginning to change this is slowly changing two of cups See what you got to say victory in love victory in love mm. victory this is the six of cups on the bottom hmm. the six of cups has you know this energy of the past and something that is really um Something that's catching my attention is the child that's within this image. You know, you know, if you pay close attention, there's someone giving something to a child. There's someone giving something to someone that may not be as spiritually mature as them. And so this is showing up you know as this this child energy this energy of someone who's still naive i'm really picking up something in regards to child or children perhaps there's something that the divine is saying about your child or children a child that you have um, or children that you may be responsible for. Um, there's definitely a sense of worry um, regarding this. Someone's worried. Okay. There's an energy of worry that's coming out. This may be you. like okay so this is a mother this is a mother figure so there's something that there's something regarding the chariot the chariot gives an energy of something coming towards you something coming at you this is in relation to a child or children that you may have and I'm seeing that this represents you as the mother. And, th and this also, this energy of worry, maybe you. Okay. Okay. Tell me about... So I'm going to ask a yes or no question because I'm really getting that this is, this chariot is telling something about something that, let me get this flying card. Something that may be coming in, in regards to your family. There's something that the divine is trying to catch your attention about. 
your family. And this is what's coming up for the chariot card. There's some sort of manipulation happening here. There's some sort of manipulation happening. Um, something that someone is doing. Some sort of spiritual manip manipulation happening regarding your family circumstances. I'm hearing that your family is your greatest resource, your greatest treasure. And for many of you, there's been a distance that's been created, okay? Some of these families are karmic families, okay? And some of them are actually, like, this is, you know, your spiritual family. For some of you, your family is actually your spiritual family. For some, your, for your family is actually karmics. Those that you are around to teach your lesson, to learn something from. And there's something that's happening in relation to this family dynamic, your family dynamic. And I'm getting that this has to do with your spiritual family. This is your soul tribe, your actual family, not a karmic family. There's some sort of manipulation taking place. Something that's coming towards this. There's some sort of spiritual endeavor, something that is being created something that is being manifested that's that is meant to create an energy of burden that is meant to create an energy of struggle within the family dynamic and i'm getting that uh the, the spirit guides are saying that this is meant to prevent uh the wish fulfillment from coming true this is meant to prevent all sorts of prosperity all sorts of good things that are supposed to come toward you um whatever's happening in this family dynamic is supposed to bring burden as opposed to creating you know success victory in fact it's meant to actually block this there's something that's going on okay lady justice is showing up lady justice is showing up here okay so is the six of cups <laughs> okay there's some energy of that wants to come out regarding the six of cups before even asking um you see there's this okay so six of pentacles represents like reciprocity you get like this give and take energy and i'm getting that there's something because it's coming up upside down it's it's supposed to it's supposed to block this energy of reciprocity okay there's it's supposed to block that block the energy of reciprocity block this energy of resiliency uh block this energy of ace of wands which is creativity okay um so what what these what your spiritual family is supposed to represent is it's supposed to give you balance okay justice card showing up for you again scorpios the family dynamic is supposed to bring an energy of balance and justice heart chakra energy is supposed to um it's supposed to be enhanced as a result of being in a positive family dynamic and i'm getting that whatever is coming up there's there's something being told about um children Okay, tell me about this six of tell me about the six of cups. Yep, conflict. There's a great amount of conflict. There's something that's being created within especially the young generation. The children, those who are not yet spiritually mature, physically, mentally mature to know too much. Um, there's something that's being created that's creating conflict and whatever it is it has to do with um, magic spiritual manipulation that's taking place um, and this conflict is mm, it's influencing the moving forward energy of this this family dynamic it's it's influencing the resiliency it's influencing the creative power of this family dynamic um there's really something specifically in regards to the children death card 
Hmm. Oh. It's like I'm getting that with the children. The children are supposed to be a continuation of your bloodline, right? Because the, the death card also um, shows an energy of, you know, your ancestry. Okay, it also shows an energy of your ancestry. Those who have come before, those who have been here. And there's something that's that's happening that is supposed to cause an unexpected like it's it's it almost seems like it's supposed to cut the ties you know prevent the this spirit of transformation from from happening it's supposed to prevent an evolution of your bloodline your children are supposed to be the better version of you the more evolved version of you and whatever it is that's coming up there's something that's being created spiritually to prevent this like energy of evolution from happening and it's happening to the young ones it's happening to the young ones and it's like it's it's a plan to keep your it's a plan to keep your bloodline it's a plan to keep your lineage from moving forward and you see here it's like in this image in the six of cups this is an energy of you know you see this you know you see someone who's more mature giving something to someone who is you know who is just coming up and it seems, and the energy that I'm getting is that there's something that's being done to stop this, this uh, child from inheriting what they're supposed to inherit. Whatever it is that this parent, and I'm getting really a sense that this is a parent, and you could be a parent, this could be like someone, you know, this could be a child that you literally gave birth to, and this could also be a child that you inherited. What In whatever case, this is a parental figure trying to give something impart something and because it's the cups energy this is a parental figure trying to impart something of value onto you know the next generation and there's something that's being done because the magician showed up right um and whatever it is that this parent is supposed to impart is supposed to bring a great amount of wish fulfillment it's supposed to bring families communities together success and victory and what's showing up is that this spiritual manipulation is like it's causing some sort of a, a a blockage of some sort okay with this with this ten of wands energy and also what it's doing is this spiritual manipulation is creating a great amount of conflict uh preventing that generation the youth from moving forward from being able to see from being able to see Yep, and with the death card, it's like an end to them being able to foresee anything, to see anything. They're trying to blind the youth. They're trying to blind the Oh my goodness, yes indeed. Look at this. What is this individual doing? They have their eyes covered. Okay? Nine of swords. This isn't just an energy of worry. They're trying to blind them. They're trying to blind the youth from the truth. The truth of what? Okay, let's find out. Tell me about this nine of swords. Ooh, where'd you come from? Where did you come from? King of cups. Oh my gosh. It's, it's you know, the divine has a way of sending messages. Um... <laughs> Where they, the divine will literally hide information in places that you never thought that you'd be able to see this kind of information. And that in itself is a message. Information is being hidden 
okay? Information is being reserved. The divine is reserving information for you to know exactly what you need to proceed the way you're supposed to proceed. When we ask about what they're being blinded, this is the King of Cups. This is an energy of intuition. So right away, this is saying that they're, they're blinding their sense of intu intuition. They're blinding their connection to spirit, their connection to the divine. And this right here, the King of Cups is, you know, a spiritual being that is connected to the depth. This is Olokun, this is Agwe, this is, you know, the intuitive being, the one that is connected to their uh, emotional, emotional self. They're connected to their intuition. They're connected to their heart chakra, their spiritual power. And look at this heart chakra energy coming out again, Nine of Pentacles. Um, this is an energy of perseverance. This is an energy of trusting oneself. And what they are blinding them to is this ability to see. There's some spiritual work that has taken place within the youth that is supposed to blind them from seeing the truth. They're, not, they're no longer going after you. They're going after your most prized possession, which is your children. Because they're the ones that are going to inherit everything that you have been working on, everything that you've been working for. The spiritual work that you have worked for, the spiritual work that you have connected yourself to, the fact that you have found your ancestors. You began a journey, and this is why the chariot card is here. You began a journey of uncovering the truth of your spirituality and the most precious thing that you can do and the most powerful thing that you can do is to pass this information to your bloodline and there's some spiritual manipulation being done to stop this spiritual work from progressing to the next generation look at this knight of pentacles the spiritual work that's being done to stop this from progressing to stop your work to stop your progress from moving on to the next generation look at this this is an energy of intuition this is an energy of eyes being blinded not being able to see what it is that you are meant to impart on this next generation okay this this knight of pentacles is the work that you have put in you have worked day in and day out <sighs> Ooh, scorpios they're trying to they, they're they're trying to stop you in your tracks you have a message to deliver you have a powerful message to deliver you have a powerful work that you began and that work that you began, you have a group of individuals who are literally trying to cut, stop you in your tracks from having this work progress to the next generation. They're trying to stop it from progressing, from persevering, from moving towards your bloodline. Mm -hmm. Ace of Cups, happiness, beginning. Mm. King of Swords, this is the truth. This is an outpouring of happiness. Whatever it is that you worked on, whatever it is that you have worked hard to assure that it carries on to the next generation, it's, going, it's supposed to bring this energy of abundance, having your cup overflow, assuring that you know, doors are going to be open continually for generations to come. This is supposed, supposed to put you in an energy of power. Your third eye is open and your children and your children's children are supposed to reap the benefits of this, which is going to 
allow them to walk in their strength allow them to know the choices that they have spiritually okay this is what you've created thus far this is what you are creating thus far it's supposed to bring them in a position where they're financially stable they are you know walking in their power they're supposed to it's supposed to bring an energy of happiness because they're able to see okay because your soul your yeah your soul searching is supposed to um affect your bloodline to where they are now aware of what it is that they're supposed to do that's what that's the work that you have put in that's the investment that you have you know worked towards okay and also this this work that you have done is supposed to allow others to see that you are a star this is supposed to awaken those to your power that may not have seen that may not have been able to see you open doors it's supposed to inspire heal okay you your work is meant to affect generations to come generations down your bloodline generations of those who are coming up that are star seeds those who are coming up that are the chosen ones okay they are supposed to reap the benefits from what you are doing and there's something that's being done to block them from seeing the work that you are doing it's like with the spiritual work what it's doing is it's redirecting they're doing something they're doing some spiritual work to redirect your work to redirect your creative power your manifesting power this is your power bring bring you back to the crossroads again because you left that you left it this chariot card is you charging towards your victory this you left this behind there was a period of time where you were at the crossroads and you went soul searching with the hermit card you went soul searching and you found exactly what it is that connects you to the divine what connects you to your power you begin honoring yourself you, you begin investing in yourself you see yourself as the star seed exactly who you are this bright light being that brings healing and balance to others and here they are doing whatever it is that they're doing to bring you back to the crossroads again. <laughs> Ooh, but it ain't gonna work. Look, look, look how that Ten of Pentacles just popped itself out, y'all. Look at how she just said, she just, look, look, she just moved her out the way, okay? Just moved her out the way and said, oh, don't you know this is what I'm, I'm running towards? Don't you know this is what I'm charging towards? Because your ancestors won't have it any other way. They work too hard to bring you to the place that you are at for it to stop midway. Your ancestors work too hard to bring you to the position that you're in to have the work stop midway and the ancestors say, it shall be that this culmination that is promised to you, that this inheritance that is promised to you is promised to your bloodline. It is promised that they shall reap what you have sown. Mm. That's that. That is that. They shall reap what you have sown. Hasheo. That's what it is. That's what it is when the ancestors speak. Better move out the way. Move out the way. <laughs> That's it. Move out the way. They ain't got no choice. Hmm. <sighs> That's what it is. Sorceress of light. Mm-hmm. That's who's speaking today. Mm, I definitely feel a lot of energy coming from her. Okay. And we'll see what the other one's got to say too. Four, having to do with an energy of stability. Okay, that also has to say something. Four. 
four zero. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. That's what it is. Okay, this is Hayaka. Um, sources of light. Let's see what she has to say regarding this reading. Um this is what she is saying. She is saying, oh no, that's Tawodi. She is saying, ask for healing, mentoring, or assistance to support you now. This support will help you feel stronger and more empowered to deal with any challenge and be reassured that your spirit can handle it. There is spiritual protection for you now as you follow the guidance to explore conscious movement and create self-expression. This can stir up old energy, releasing it from you and allowing vital presence to take hold within you. You are going through an initiation in which you will need to reassert your happiness and joy any time it slips into the darkness of doubt fear or anxiety take time to dance sing drum and affirm your aliveness with joy and courage become spiritually bolder in the face of anything that attempts to diminish you become spiritually bolder in the face of anything that attempts to diminish you have faith in the power of the divine being the supreme power you are watched over by love so this is a message that's very clear you may or may not know where this spiritual manipulation is coming from those who seek to stop the generational blessings from coming from persevering those who are trying to stop it in its track spirit is saying you may not know but re and rest assured that this is meant to teach you to be even more diligent in your spiritual walk to continue in your walk because you are going through a process that's teaching you to fight that's teaching you to be resilient okay and remember the words of the ancestors they said that they have not come this far to to um to keep this blessing from being manifested within generations to come okay and that is the message this this is a payoff this is an inheritance um that is coming regardless it may seem that there are things that are coming to try to block this energy in the path the ancestors are saying that the work that they did is to assure that you that this work that began in you you will surely see it to completion your ancestors are reassuring you that the work that they began in you the good work that they began in you shall surely be seen to completion and this is for generations and generations to come and that is the message if this message resonates please like comment share and subscribe until next time love peace and divine light